Tomlinson. Today we will be making salted caramel pretzel blondies. Even if you don't consider yourself to love blondies, these are really amazing and they are in fact my mom's new favorite dessert apparently. And we've been making them a lot recently. First you're going to take a pot and you're going to also take a candy thermometer. And you don't have to have one, but my directions in this video are going to be based on a candy thermometer, so it's much easier if you have one. And then you're also going to take a third of a cup of sugar and you're going to put that in your pot. And then you're just going to melt that over medium heat. You don't need the candy thermometer at this stage, but you are going to need it later. And this will take about three to four minutes and you're just going to do it until it's completely melted and you can stir it a bit, but not too much. I'm not going to film this part because it's going to be very boring. One thing you can do while your sugar is melting is take a tray and line it with a sheet of parchment paper. This tray is much bigger than you'll need, but uh, it's the only one that I wanted to use because the parchment paper fits it. You also may need to stir it from time to time if it's being slow while melting. And if it's taking too long, you might want to turn up the heat to like medium high. So mine's just starting to melt. So it's been going for a couple minutes and now you can see that this part is starting to get more golden and there's still some left to melt. So I can stir this, but you don't, you want to keep it in a thin layer so that there aren't big mountains. It probably needs another minute. I'm just going to film this next part like this, but you can see here that it's starting, it's all melted now. So I'm going to turn it off the heat and I'm going to take two tablespoons of butter and I'm going to add that in. But it might sizzle a little bit, but I'm just going to stir it. Now you're going to add in two tablespoons of heavy cream. You're also going to add in a pinch of flaky sea salt. Now at this point you need to really make sure your candy th thermometer is touching the caramel, but not the pot. And you're going to turn this back onto medium high heat, and then you're going to keep it cooking until the thermometer reaches somewhere between 245 degrees and 250 degrees. And we're pretty close already. When your caramel gets to the temperature you want, you're going to take out your candy thermometer. You're going to take a spatula. You're just going to give it a little bit of a stir. And then you're going to take your pan that you lined with parchment paper. And you're going to just pour it in. And this can be helpful if you have a second person helping. And when you're dumping it, you don't want to dump it all in the same place. You want to keep it spread out so that it doesn't get all thick. Then you're just going to take your spatula and spread it a bit more. And now you're going to put this in the freezer for at least 10 to 15 minutes, just until you need it. Now you're going to make the blondies. So first you're going to preheat your oven to 350. Then you're going to take an eight by eight inch pan and a sheet of parchment paper. And you're just going to get the parchment paper to fit the pan by putting one edge uh, against this side of the pan and creasing the parchment paper against the other edge. Then you're just going to fold along that crease, put it in upside down. And then you can also fold back the ends then you're going to take eight tablespoons or one stick of melted butter and you're going to add in three quarters of a cup of brown sugar and you're going to whisk that together then you're going to add in one egg one teaspoon of vanilla extract and half a teaspoon of flaky sea salt then you're just going to whisk that all together. Then you're going to add one cup of flour, and you're going to stir that just until it gets all combined. Then you're going to add in two thirds of a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips, and you're just going to sprinkle that over it. And you're also going to add in a half a cup of 
crushed up pretzels, and by crushed I mean really broken. So you take a pretzel, then you just break it into a few pieces, and you just do that until it fills up a half a cup. Now you're going to take your caramel out of the fridge and put it on a cutting board. Then you're just going to cut this into pieces, and it doesn't really matter because once you cut it, it's just going to break. And now you're going to sprinkle most of these, but not all of them. You're going to leave like four or five out there into your batter or dough. And then you're just going to stir all this stuff together. And then you're going to take this and you're going to scoop it all out into your pan. And then you're just going to use your spatula and spread it out so that it gets evenly distributed. And then you're going to take your other pieces of caramel that you kept there and you're just going to put them on top. Now you're going to put this in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. I found that it needs closer to 30 minutes, but it might be different for different ovens. I will be back when these come out. When your dessert is done, you should take it out of the oven to let it cool. And you want to get this completely cool before you start to cut it because they're best when they're cooler and that means they will taste better. Once your blondies are cool, you should get a cutting board and your blondies and you're going to take a not very sharp knife and just loosen up the edges of your blondies so that they'll come out of the pan easily. Then you can just use the parchment paper to easily get it out. And then I found that it's best if you chop off the ends just a tiny bit. And now you should cut it into however big pieces you want. I usually do four by four. And you should eat the ends while you're doing this. And now once you've cut them, you have to eat one because why else would you cut one up? These are so good because there's just caramel and chocolate and it's salty and it's delicious and it has a perfect texture. But as good as they are in the first day, they're actually even better the second day. So don't eat them all on the first day, which might be hard and you should wait until the second day, but you should definitely make these because these are really delicious. And yeah, now I'm going to go eat some more of them. Bye bye, see you next time. Thank you.